how Ottoman princess became the wife of Hadrabad Nizam. Dorushahava Dordana Begum, Sahiba, princess of Bera, was an Ottoman princess, the only daughter of the last caliph Abdul Majid II, who was the last heir apparent to the Ottoman imperial throne, and the last caliph of the Ottoman Caliphate. At the exile of the imperial family in March 1924, Dorusehava and her family settled in Nice, France. The last Nizam of the Hyderabad state of India decided to send a lifetime monthly pension of 300 pounds to the deposed caliph and allowances to several individuals in the family. When she came of age, she was sought by the Shah of Persia and King Fuid I of Egypt as a bride for their respective heirs, Muhammad Rita Pahlavi and Farooq, and by Prince Azam Jah, the eldest son and heir of Nizam Mi Osman Ali Khan. In 1930, Sepjade Mehamd Abid, son of Sultan Abdul Hamid II, and Salih Nasiye Han also asked her hand in marriage. However, her father refused, on the grounds of Dorasehava being underage. In 1931, her father arranged her marriage to Azam Jah, elder son, and heir, to me Osman Ali Khan, 7th Nizam of Hyderabad Deccan. However, 50,000 pounds in Maha was demanded for her, which the Nizam considered too much. However, Nizam accepted the Maha demand, and married Dora Sehava, following the festivities in Nice. The princesses and their husbands set sail from Venice on 12 December 1931 to her father-in-law's court in Hyderabad, India. On the way, they were taught how to wear saris and the expected etiquette in the presence of the Nizam. After they reached Hyderabad, a banquet was held at the Chumahla Palace. On 4 January 1932, she received the title of Dordana Begum. From the Nizam held the title of Her Highness the Princess of Bera. She was taller than Azam Jah. And the Nizam thought that was a great joke. He regularly used to point out the difference in their height at parties. On 6 October 1933, she gave birth to her elder son, Mukaram Asaf Jah. The future Nizam of Hyderabad. He was followed by Mufakham Jah Bahadur. Born on 27 February. She knew of her husband's numerous concubines, but carried herself regally. However, the differences between the two of them eventually led to their marriage falling apart. Within two years, and after the divorce, Doru Sehava stayed in Hyderabad for some years, then moved to London. <laughs>